G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at methods for mental subtraction. Okay, so this is going to start out fairly easy. We're going to start out with some two-digit uh, two numbers. We're going to get to some harder problems as we go along though. Now there's a couple of different methods you would be using when you are doing mental subtraction. Uh, typically both these methods go from left to right. You'll see what I mean by this in a minute. But you can employ the different methods just for different types of subtraction questions. One where you're not borrowing questions and one where you are trying to borrow off other numbers. You'll again see what I mean with this. So, an example of the type of question that you might get when you're asked to subtract one number from another. I'll give you a two digit number. Uh, say we had 98 uh, and I wanted to take away 23. Okay, so this is a nice easy one. Now the way that I would guess that most people would do this mentally is as follows. They would be seeing 23 as two different numbers. They'd be seeing it as 20 and 3. And if this is not the way you do it, this is not a bad little technique anyway. So you are taking away 20 and then you're taking away 3 from 98. So 98 take away 20, 78 take away 3 is 75. Okay? So what about I give you another example of this, okay? So the nice easy method of doing these to start off with nice ones where we don't have to borrow. Say we had say something like uh, 68 and we're going to take away 25. Okay, so nice and easy. So 68 is made up of 20 and uh, 68 we have 20 and 5 we are taking off. It's a 68. 48, taking off the 20, 43, okay, so we took off the 21st, we got 48, and then we took off the 5, and we got 43, how'd you go with that, okay, now they're fairly easy questions, these are, are really basic ones, where you don't have to go about borrowing, and I'll show you what I mean by this, this idea of borrowing, because I think this is where it gets a bit tricky with mental subtraction, Occasionally, you are going to start, well, quite often, you are going to start getting numbers like this when you subtract. You're going to start getting numbers, say, like, uh, what about we do something like 84 and we take away 59. So if we were to do this, you're going to see straight away that it's a little bit harder. You still could go 84 and take off 50, get 34, and then take away the 9 and you would get 25. But there's also another way that you could do this, which you might find a little bit easier. Okay, uh, you don't have to do any sort of mental ar uh, acrobatics in your head. Well, not as much anyway. You turn it into a bit of an addition problem. And this is as, uh, the way you do this is as follows. So 59, we're going to round that up to 60. Okay, and you're probably going to realise that we have taken one too many here. Okay, we take off 60, the difference there is one. So if we go 84, take away 60 we have 24, okay, but we don't, we didn't, we weren't supposed to take off 60, we are supposed to take off 59, so we've taken off one too too many, <laughs> one too 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 many, <laughs> so we're going to have to add that one back on, so our answer is 25, okay, so we take off that next number up, so 84, take away 60 is 24 plus 1, so it's turned it into a bit of an addition problem, so I'll give you a couple more examples of these. So say we had a question, uh, 82, and we are going to take away 34. So what you might do for this is you might round this up to 40. And you're going to realise that we've taken 6 too much. So 82, 42, 48. Okay, I'll show you how I've done this. Okay, so we've gone six too much. I'll write that little six down there. So 82 take away 40 is 42. And I'm going to add this six on, which is 48. And the big trick for these is not so much all this writing you see here, because then you'll think, hey, that's even slower. It's trying to do this in your head. Okay, this is the trick. This is mental uh, subtraction we're after here, not uh, <laughs> written subtraction. It's always hard to try and explain mental subtraction sometimes and you're writing it down at the same time. So I'm going to give you a bunch of questions with these. Say we did, uh, oh, what about 67 take 48? And you might get the answer to this really, really quickly. And 
what about we do 51 take away 27 okay and we will also do 148 and we will take away 79 okay three different questions okay so how are we going to get these so first off I'm going to do these mentally now okay so 67 take away 50 is 17 plus 2 is 19 51 take away 30 is 21 plus 3 is 24 148 take away 80 is 68 plus 1 is 69 see how easy that is okay what about I give you a couple that are just a little bit harder okay <laughs> what about we do this type of one what about we do say something like 162 and I'm going to take away um, oh, 97 okay hey that's not that hard at all is it actually that's a really easy one because this is almost 100 take that off it's going to be 62 plus 3 our answer is going to be 65 okay so we rounded that up to 100 we took that off we got 62 then we added the three extra we need and we got 65 do you see how easy that is okay in the next video what we're going to be having a look at is we're going to extend this into bigger numbers so hopefully you find this handy uh, and if you do have a look at this next video we'll take this even further anyway thanks for watching see you next time bye